Hello YouTube and welcome into the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I'm the Game Mechanic here with you as always and today we have the Germans uh, for you and uh, we have we have a surprising continent split. Um, this is a new world Pangea map. Uh, I haven't done that a whole lot in the in, in this particular marathon but uh, this seemed appropriate because we want to show off the powerhouse Germany's, uh, Germany strats. Um, and I'm looking at settling this cocoa. Uh, if, if the other land we, we find when we move here is good, we could always settle down um, and, and do like Hansa things with like a dam and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I like the idea of this little river and like somehow making all that work in there. But it's a little weird. A little bit weird. Uh, Dewar, thank you for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks for spending that here. And uh, I appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you. I think what I'd like to do is move the warrior there. And Nomadic Mentor, welcome in as well. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate the Prime subs, friends. Might not have a ton of production. Let's move here first. I don't mind... If we're go going to get a dam here, I don't mind districting. We'd have to really kind of rush there. We could try for the Great Bath, but I don't think it's going to work. Do you guys want to really go for the Great Bath? Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. So, like, potentially... Potentially, like, a Hansa... Can I damn this? Can I damn that or no? This is this river, I think. Yeah. So I think that's a no, right? Oh, you can? So I could damn this. And potentially do something like this. And see where else see where, see what else we can do. It's not the best Hans in the world. It's it's plus two, four, five, six, seven, and then no, oh, it's plus eight Hansa. It winds up being a plus eight Hansa in the end. Could potentially get um, another uh, industrial zone over here for this city as well. <laughs> Pretty much, Art. Pretty much. Okay, this seems fine. I I, I very rarely uh, settle here on top of like a, a an amazing cocoa tile like this, um, but that'll work for our purposes. I think we'll get the same two two three base. We'll start off working a two two tile, um, and then we'll be able to sell the luxury as well, uh, which is pretty interesting. And then potentially a city over here as well. Uh, no science. I mean, no science yet. We've got uh, we've got the potential to get a like a. There's a plus two campus. Maybe it's plus three. We'll see. All right. So we settle that. We have a, a very productive uh, slash. Lots of gold in the base there. Start with a five turn scout. Seems okay.
So you want to go there. Okay. Um. See, there's some science. There's a plus three, uh, three campus district for the cap here if we want it. Potentially settle the uh, rice as well. Hmm. All right. Where do we want our warrior to go? Probably just here and then up onto the jungle hill. Yeah, the rice might be a better settle. We're not sure yet. The river over there is nice. Not a ton of resources. I really want to move this way. This is fine. I think I'm gonna go double scout. Um, as we mentioned in like our first reroll, uh, you get the double, you get the uh, double military policy, so you get the the double scout XP. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get a, a second scout here. It's a crazy flat desert. There's somebody there. Okay. I'm liking this land. Scout into, into the Great Bath? No. I, I don't think we're going to go for that. No, FaZe, I'm not going to take advantage. I'm not going to be playing the exploit. It just, like, I might as well just play on the lowest difficulty. It doesn't matter. It, I, I, I'm not a fan of that stuff. No interest, personally. I won't judge you if you want to do it, but it's just not for me. And then we'll go here, hopefully. But basically, if anything has the word exploit in it, I'm not super keen on it. Play the lowest difficulty and do the exploit? Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy, could I? Then we the web of the mystic measure from the depths of the sky. So, si so military city state, we get the uh spirits of might and of pleasure. The wonder boost. Okay. We've also find a uh, barb hut here. Maybe this guy can make it down there. Infinite money IRL exploit. Yeah, you know what? If you write that one down for me, I might give it a shot. All right. Decent land. It's really going to depend on our neighbors. Nice haircut. Thanks, John. So Cod pops in at uh, with an archery boost needed. But we are the first meat there. That's quite good for us. That's an extra two production towards the settler I'm about to get. There's maybe a Petra Desert. I kind of want this scout to come down and then this one to go up. I'm actually going to move down here again, cross, and then up. No, I'm not. That's stupid. That is dumb. Let's go ahead and get a settler going. And yeah, I kind of like this dude coming to see what's going on. What the lay of the land is down yonder. <laughs> All right, so we, we we gift them this other tile because we we very quickly did our um our tree boost, which is fine. I don't 
Okay, so now that I see all this coast, this dude's going the other way. Because I think the plan is going to be to bring the warrior back, possibly clear that out. Hopefully we avoid the uh, barb scouts before then. Oh. Somebody's up here as well. That's not great. That's probably our first neighbor. Oh, it is not. And speaking of lack of neighbors, uh, Mohenjo, first meet. A little bit awkward. I would have liked to put a city in between here somewhere. Um, but maybe we'll get one over here. Check the turns for Great Bath. 22. So if there, if Great Bath goes beyond turn 35, I should have gone for it. Really like the hill movement for that type of a purpose. Ah, oh, we'll miss you, Thalia. Have a fantastic day. We will see you later on. No, con conquering city-states early is Germany. Uh, it requires you to go to swords. And I'm not convinced that that's what I want to do. So we already have our first promotion, so I'm going to wait, grab that. We'll also get the uh, extra scout XP here next turn. First couple city spots that we have to expand to seem pretty decent. Fertilized tiles, eh? Okay, so before we grab that goody hut, we'll put in discipline and survey. It's really nice to be able to run both of those. We don't have a relic or a religious meat, so we do need to run God King. And we'll want to keep in mind to find a, uh, a worthy city somewhat soon. Early Empire is not the worst, although I am getting a settler. Wow. Alright, so early, easy friend. Seems okay. Yes, agreed. This was a bad settle. So we can friend him right away, and then we can also sell him this. Four for, for 30 turns seems good. No, a worthy city. And we need to get our first settle will definitely be over here. Definitely, definitely. A city worthy, worthy of Ruhr Valley is a worthy city. Hey, Timberdoodle. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching over on YouTube. Thanks for, for coming in and saying hi. Gilgamesh eat hot sauce. Yes, indeed he does. We, we do it together. We go to Wings Night. I'm bringing the scout back around this way because I want the most information I have before settling this next city. I think I want to settle here as opposed to here. So if I settle here, he can still settle there. If I settle here, at least pushes him on that side of the river. Like I think this this just this is this is a little bit more dominant as far as um 
forcing him to not forward settle me. Now, granted, that's not his capital, and that city's not going to grow really big. So we could be, like, super aggressive and settle here and here. But that seems a little much. Although, if he's going to be my friend, this city will have extra food, decent tiles, and, and interesting districting there as well. Lots of floodplains here. Getting to dams is definitely going to be a priority. I don't know what we got there. <laughs> what do we get? Did, I, did anyone catch what that was? Because this all happened simultaneously. What's his agenda? Um, he likes people that are that are alliances. So like that's why we start off as friends with him. Ah, it was an envoy. Thank you. It was an envoy. That's a bit awkward. Okay. So we can potentially get an early suzerain if we're looking for that era score. Uh, getting an early golden age will help us with loyalty, but not much else. As we don't really plan on having a faith economy. Probably worth it to not to, to no longer go south here. We know there's ocean, um, and I'd like to come in and scout this land too. It's it's potential. There's potential for us to go settle over there as well. Yeah, that is a very nice campus at plus four. Not a mod bacon fat. It is in the uh, vanilla game these days. If you go into options, you go to interface, and you show yields in the HUD ribbon. No, this was not a first meet over here. You're very welcome. Yeah, this is standard speed, and you can always tell that based on the number of turns that are in the game. It'll be 500. So, is this too greedy? find out that's for sure because I think that's going to be my plan and I think we start off right up here again this granted the AI cheats in this city will get to grow even though it has no fresh water and potentially no aqueduct spot that we can see we will settle the rice we'll get a 3-1 base and we start off with uh two two tile there two two tiles there we get some nice farms the city can grow nice and big and uh basically protect because we're able to be friends with him protect our future settles like this It's potentially too greedy. Um, so in two turns, I could I could buy out to here and get a plus three campus, get some nice era score. Kind of goes along with our greedy greedy play. Really want to get this government plaza before I really uh, spam cities, but I also really like that's where this one can hopefully be like a placeholder. I 
And then what would we be doing? Building a monument to maybe get to, to through our culture tree faster? And then with a Pantheon, we could take another settler. Might need to get another settler here. So that I can I can make my greed into a reality. Another envoy. We actually want to settle this way because it's a, a different continent, but we should be able to do that, I think. Yeah, we could send off one of those envoys to the military. So you're, you're, that's probably a good idea, Kurt. I think I like that suggestion. Where are you at? Okay, so he's all the way over there. So there's potential that they'll fight, but this land is probably not our land. So let's make this guy a super scout. And then, yeah, I think I like the idea. Sending sending it this uh, envoy makes sense. It's not a double, but it does give us two production to our units. And if I'm going for another, another settler here, I think that makes sense. Hmm. This is probably best. So there are two of his cities. Writing is easy. Every nation lives by. Alright, that one has water and will affect this city loyalty wise. So we could pull this back a little bit. As it is quite, quite greedy. But if I pull it back a little bit, it might as well come back down here. These jerks blocking me already. Nothing to switch here. Not building any naval units. Still need a Pantheon. Okay, game. Whatever. Another flood. go ahead and do that. We have the extra five combat strength. I'm still looking for the kill three barbarians boost. Uh, and, and it's potential that the, there's a potential that the scout can actually steal that hut, which would be nice. And uh, getting a golden age looking like kind of a priority as far as getting, uh, getting our loyalty secured. Okay, so we clear that just fine. Filled a water bag from my people and gone to the desert. It's a good, a uh, good little bit of scout XP there. While the wolf howled, like a gambler whose family starves. So yeah, so they are over here. I'm hoping that they fight. What do I want to go explore? This is minus four currently. We could buy them a monument. We could buy them a builder. Yeah, do I want currency is a good question. Pro 
Probably not. Maybe just go after mining and bronze working. Hey, Justifier. How you doing, buddy? I don't know where to bring this guy. I could, I could hover here and heal for a turn, and maybe these two attacks aren't strong enough, and I could snipe it. I'm going to try that. It only costs us one turn to do. So, indeed, get to snipe that, which is awesome. We get to settle here. Again, we'll have extra rice, um, so loyalty will look a little rough to start with. Um, however, I'm looking for the three... I'm looking for um, the three improved tiles... Eureka anyways, and so I could buy them a monument and hold this, uh, but I, I can also just grow quickly. We're at minus 3.6, which I, I think is better solved with a builder, two farms, uh, and, and potentially something else. And then I may have to buy a second uh, rice tile here. We'll see. All right, that worked out well. We're sitting at 21 of 25 era score. <laughs> hey, Cope, how are you? Good to see you. Great bath went at turn 24, so that indeed would have been a waste of production. Oh, you had a promotion? My bad. I should have taken that. Continue to heal. Go ahead and get this farm. Yeah, just for the boost. Sacrador, I needed it. I want to work a four food tile here. Right, I'm actually going to take the ranger promotion. Lots of uh, lots of easy explo exploration here, I think, with that particular promotion. And then in the meantime, this guy can go off and do something else. I'm thinking about buying the second rice triangle just because this is a very nice farm triangle and that will be rather important, especially if there's a flood and we lose some population. So normally I don't like, I would much prefer to work a 2-2, uh, but we'll grow two turns faster and I think I am going to do this. This is pretty greedy as well. Uh, but we're just going to play the greed game. When you have an early friend in Gilgamesh, you can kind of take advantage of it. Some nice cities along this area as well. Ooh, scientific city-state is great, and uh, this is a good one. For extra great people points. And Dido. Everybody's that way. Or that way, I guess, if I'm using my camera correctly. What's up, you bring light in. The quest is train a heavy chariot. Could use that Envoy. It's not a bad idea, although I think I'd rather make sure I'm going to get a Golden Age and I don't have to use that Envoy for a Suzerain. So now I may be able to cheat it 
nope, still two turns over there. So let's let's work that. The second population, I think, is going to just stabilize our loyalty. I just kind of want to see what he's got. So if we can claim some of this land, um, again, it's greedy and aggressive, uh, but those can be good things. Okay, so we grow, but we lose a population here in the cap, uh, which is why, um, which is why the uh, loyalty didn't stabilize. Like I said, it might. And I think we come over here and settle the cocoa now, right? Or maybe even above the cocoa. I'm gonna come this way too. I'm gonna go here and then across. Oops. Um. I think trader up here makes sense. Trader and then maybe our monument. I also really need that campus for the Eureka. What do you mean by arrest a city's growth? Like, stop it? Like, stop it from growing? And yeah, it's, it's when they get housing capped. Tips for someone new to this game. Uh, make sure that if you're... Have you played a Civ before, Hollow Jester? So I have lots of tips, but they, they can... Uh, they kind of depend on where you're at with Civ, or is this your very first experience, your very first soiree into the Civ lands? Played Civ Revolution? Okay. Um, I don't, I didn't play that, so I can't really compare anything to Civ Revolution for you. But, um, a couple, a couple general tips. Uh, go wide. You should be looking for 8 to 12 cities in any given game. You should be trying to settle those as quickly as possible so that you can start to build districts um, and economize. Um, probably avoid religion until you're comfortable playing the game. <laughs> yeah, I've been pretty greedy with development. I haven't had to build any military because I had an early friend here. I was able to clear uh, our first barb threat with just our original warrior. So yeah, we're 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 doing okay as far as expansion. So he's got Earth Goddess already. We know that. Hey, Michigan man, Dan, how you doing, bud? So I need three more error score for Golden Age here. Going after the trader so I can get more gold. I'm probably going to buy out here to here for the plus three campus. There goes Stonehenge, turn 28. And again, I'm just doing a little bit of build exploring here. Uh, and it's actually pretty valuable because we found out that this is coast. It seems like. Hans in all cities? Probably, yeah. Well, well, whale, whale, whale. <laughs> What's up, Fork? How you doing, buddy? Uh, Merry Christmas, my friend. How you doing? No, I know. I'm settle. I'm forward. To well, eh, this isn't really a forward settle. To if, I mean, he should have been whatever. It, it should have been coastal, um, but it's still a little. You know, you know how it is. I still think I'm heading over to this uh, Coco. And then, and then we'll fill in this other city uh, later on. Which should be good. 
Um, and then also what I want to do here with with our with our very greedy setup, I want to see how crazy greedy it can actually be. Also, just put it down there. Just override these rice tiles. Um, and then we can probably put. I have to go across the river, so this could be a bath, right? Or a dam, rather. <laughs> I wish you good luck, Fork. I'm sorry that uh, that things are rough, but they'll, they'll pick up. They'll pick up. You're gonna be. You're gonna be good. Um, just a dam on this rice. Oh, that's not a bad idea. And then that. Although, well, no, it's fine. So then that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is plus nine. And this guy is plus two. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus eight. And then this dude is two, four, six, eight as well. And then we can double that with the policy and get 16 production out of each of those. Seems good. Hey, do that. How are you doing? So many green districts. I know, I know. It feels weird. It feels weird. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, as far as exploration, I may be able to greedily sneak in a couple more cities, especially if they wind up fighting. Um, but I'll have to pay attention to that. We're trying to explore a bit here. We know we're going to want to expand some over here. We have three of the five people in the game over here on this single continent, which means if I settle this and pick up a lot of the luxuries, we'll have decent trade throughout the game, uh, which would be pretty darn good. I put, I put the eight in the dam? Oh, I did. It's a very productive dam. Okay, um, so that seems interesting at the very least. And then I think I'll keep exploring. More Dido over there. Working two twos. Oh. That actually is a big deal. I'm going to work this four yield tile over this one. Because we'll grow two turns faster. And again, loyalty here being a thing. Yeah, it's only disaster setting two. Ваши люди жаждут познания и красоты, но вы гнушаетесь наукой и искусством. От чего же? Who deserves more credit than the one? So 
So we grow two here. We grow... Th wait. Why did you change back to three? Oh, no. It was... Okay. It was four or six. Right. Right, right, right. Two turns on this trader. Two turns on early empire. I could start spamming a couple more settlers. I was hoping to get the government plaza uh, first in this game. Oh dear. Oh, it's just a lake, not actual coast. Awkward, awkward. Some nice turtles over there. <laughs> it was a naked settler. It's okay. We're, we're nudists here these days. Alright, gotta bring you back now. Alright, I think this guy needs to turn around. That's <laughs> up, Equinox. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm wearing a shirt, indeed. All right, I don't actually want to send out this trade route quite yet. Oh, we get an envoy here. Um, so they expand to what? Hmm. <laughs> Fair enough, Equinox. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I'm thinking about... Well, you know what? I'll, I'm, I'm going to do this. We're going to continue our greedy ways. Because I need to kill both of these uh, before I send out this trader. I, I don't feel confident doing it yet. I'm just going to wait a turn. Not quite at our Pantheon. We do have our first governor. We're going to want Magnus, of course, because we're going to expand like crazy. Skilgabro at war. He's at war with Russia. Yeah, he's just at war with that. Have I ever done a pacifist run? Probably. Hello, dreamy cat. Um, wondering what helps and hurt, hurts appeals in the game. It's been confusing to me. There are a lot of factors. There are a lot of factors. Um, one, one nice thing that you can do is go into here and look at neighborhoods and appeal. And you can find the exact, uh, uh, that exact answer. Now, keep in mind that appeal affects the tiles around it not the tile itself. So if I put a hole, like uh, uh, if I plant a woods, I'm not actually increasing the appeal of that tile. I'm increasing the appeal of all of the tiles around it. Same with districts, same with mines, same with stuff like that. Um, so, and yeah, I love Earth Goddess. So getting familiar with appeal is a really, really nice way of uh, maximizing like your faith gain in a faith gain in a game like that. Um, and we'll probably be using that and, and, and probably like tomorrow we'll probably do Earth Goddess uh, and that'll be the next playthrough we have. So, um, yeah. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Like I said, this guy's going to come back and go to this continent now. Feels silly having both of our uh, scouts in the same direction. Oh dear, I think I just suicided that to promo scout. That sucks. 
Oh boy. Asavi, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. So, first real mistake of the game there. I mean, not, not much I can do about it. Because we weren't going to be able to see that guy regardless. Absolutely, man. And like I said, we'll probably be doing something uh, this week with, with, with Faith and Appeal. So... Seems good. All right. Well, you'll have to turn in, in, tune into the next video to find out if I indeed made a mistake. I think I did uh, over there because we're going to put a cut in the video. Pretty interesting one so far. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the internet, and we hope to see you then. Thanks, everybody.